Are we already in Paris? No, they're taking a boat from Germany. How far is St. Petersburg to Germany? This week's episode of Two Freckle Friends is brought to you by The White Rabbit because today we are late, very late, for a very important date. Uh, technical difficulties, troubleshooting, resetting passwords. It's been a while, but let's see if these hoes remember still how to ride a bike. Honestly, I don't remember how to ride a bike. If you were to put a bicycle in front of me today, and this has happened over the last two years, that shit went left. Literally went left. Well, you know what the old saying is, you gotta be this tall to ride the bike. No moments, no moments. Hold on. Crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. If you are running late for a very important date, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, it's another Brooke special, a la mode. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal, folks. Okay, hey, hey, audience. Hey, guess what? So Allie does a lot for this channel. She puts in a lot of work. She does. I'm not gonna lie on her name. But this time I feel it, and I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. I choose the lineup most of the time for the films just because I decide when we're gonna watch something does not mean that I am championing for that film. These are the three ingredients that make up a Brooke special, not Disney animation. The probability of Aunt Martha having a bootleg of this on VHS. No, 94 and prior. If this was released during the time where Aunt Martha was bootlegging VHSs, the probability would be higher that this would have been on a bootleg. Two and three, I have not seen this movie beginning to end. Those are the three ingredients <laughs> <laughs> that make up a Brooke special. She wanted to get on her soapbox and thought she grew three sizes that day and she shrunk three sizes that day. I did not day. shrink three sizes. What are you talking about? Yes! Down! I gonna have. Brooke, why don't you tell the folks out there what we're watching? Today, we are watching the 1997, not Disney, Anastasia. At the time this was made, this was not Disney. And you can definitely tell. I remember the poster, but I was so in my 90s Nickelodeon, 90s Disney bag that I didn't give this the time of day. Not saying it's not worth the time of day. This will be a brand new experience for me. As a child, you were having wholesome movie moments Aww. with your Disney Channel originals. You haven't I only said watched originals. something that nice to me in a while. Can I just take a moment? <laughs> If you're new to our channel, what we're going to do is Brooke and I will watch Anastasia. Afterwards, we will give our own individual thoughts. From those thoughts, we will provide this film with its official freckle score. So without further ado, the 1997 20th Century Fox, the animated classic, Anastasia. <laughs> It's a, it's a, the movie is a, Anastasia plays white. Her face is there, her mouth is open. She looks inquisitive, like, yeah, I don't trust y'all, what's up? Here we go. Three, two, one, play. Just want to let you know, 20th Century Fox just came up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now look at the dancing white people. Don Bluth. See all these Don Bluth films. Oh, look at the winter time. There was a time when we lived in an enchanted world. Elegant palaces and grand parties. Before y'all got got by the commies, huh? Do you agree? Yes, defense minister. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. My son, Nicholas, was the Tsar of Imperial Russia. Together. Everybody clap your hands. 
We were celebrating the 300th anniversary. Anastasia, my youngest granddaughter, she begged me not to return to Paris. I had a very special gift made for her. Is it a jewelry box? Dimitri, you belong in the kitchen. It plays. It looks like early CGI, doesn't it? It does how it moves. Yeah. On the wind, hear this song and remember. Once upon a, a December. December Together in Paris Really? Oh, Grandmama! Dark shadow descended upon the house of the Romanovs Rasputin I never understood why they do that to Rasputin He was a fraud You are a traitor! Get out! By the unholy powers vested in me Banish you with a curse You! And your family will die within the fortnight. Rasputin sold his soul for the power to destroy them. The animation is moving so quickly. Oh, so he's Shang Tsung. Your brother's soul is mine. Fill your dark purpose. Yes. With a dark purpose. I mean, Rasputin was like a fake holy man, but how they portray him in the movie is not historically accurate. Rasputin was a filthy, womanizing, uh, but personally formidable holy man who attached himself to the imperial court of the Emperor Nicholas uh, and his wife. Soon destroy our lives forever. My music box! Anastasia, come back! Anastasia! This way, out the servants' corners. Hurry, Anastasia. My music box. Go, go. What? Anastasia, hurry. Oh, here. Take my hand. Don't let go. Anastasia. Anastasia, my beloved grandchild. I never saw her again. St. Petersburg is gloomy. St. Petersburg is bleak. Since the revolution, our lives have been so great. Although the Tsar did not survive, one daughter may be still alive. The Princess Anastasia! Do not repeat. Grandmama will pay your royal son. Bring the Princess back! Ah. Ooh, Dimitri! Well, Dimitri, I got to the theater. I do love Russian girl. names, I'm not gonna lie. All we need is the girl. No more forging papers, no more stolen goods. We'll have three tickets out of here. One for you, one for me, and one for Anastasia. Everybody's just so focused on finding this girl. It's the Princess Anastasia who will help us fly. We'll find a girl to play the part and teach her what to say. Take her to Paris. The reward her dear old grandmama will pay. We'll be rich. We'll be rich. We'll be out. <laughs> Morning Bell. This is very Beauty and the Beast esque. The biggest con in history. Who knows? Y'all really are happy? Got you a job in the fish factory. You've been a thorn in my side since you were brought hey. here. Oh my god, she's walking like Madame Mim! She is. Her facial, her movements. Well, come on. Step outside. You don't have a clue to who you were before you came to us together in Paris. You want to go to France to find your family. She got no teeth, a hair coming out of a mouth. She has six teeth? Okay, Wait, maybe four. Sick. Maybe four. Gather in Paris! <laughs> Be great, Fart. Does this make you want to go to Russia? Yeah, this make-believe version of it, sure. No racism, communism isn't crazy, everybody's eating well, it looks like. Have you heard the news out of America? North Carolina not in final four of March Madness? This is crazy! I'll be Anya the orphan forever. 
Whoever gave me this necklace must have loved me. This is crazy. <laughs> me? Go to Paris? <laughs> hey! I don't have time to play right now, okay? A dog wants me to go to St. Petersburg. I know she's not gonna sing a song. Why not? Heart, don't we just had a song. It's time for another song, though. We have a different setting. The snow is magical. We have a new friend. We're at a crossroad in life. We have to sing a song. These animation choices are so interesting. On a journey to the past. Oh, this is the song Aaliyah sang, right? Finally home. Journey. Yeah. Courage see me through to the path. To the path. Family, I must have had them too. That's so crazy, she can't remember anything about her family. You know, it's like your brain. If you go through something super traumatic, your brain tries to protect itself and it blocks everything out. Ah! I'm awake. One step at a time back to who I was and bring me home at last. But then she's looking at St. Petersburg and it looks a little cheap right here. A little? One ticket to Paris, please. Exit visa. No exit visa. No ticket. See Dimitri. He can help. Dimitri. <laughs> at the old palace. How come she has an accent? How come all these old women got hair on their chin? Next, please. Grandma, it's me, Anastasia. <laughs> oh, this is definitely Fox. <laughs> She's here somewhere, right under our noses. One look at this jewelry box and the Empress will think we've brought the real Anastasia. Catherine, excuse So she just stumbles upon the old palace grounds. That could also be her subconscious taking her back. Like there's something there that just draw. I don't, girl, I don't know, okay? I'm not a therapist. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, they're living in there? Hello? And scary. Anybody home? Mm, I'm surprised that hadn't been raided. This is This place, it's like a memory from a dream. Dancing bear. We just had a song. I knew a song was coming. I could feel it. That twinkling. Things. That little chime. Remember. You get mad when there's not enough songs. I need a breather though. Did Nightmare Before Christmas give you a breather? Yeah, but Nightmare Before Christmas is a musical. Truly at its core. Is Anastasia a musical and I didn't know this? Here lies poor old cat. I, I don't, I don't know. Across my man. So she's singing this loud and the fellas can't hear her upstairs? Hey! Try to make a record down here! So her dad died? All of the Romanovs died. Historically, they were all supposed to die. But grandma didn't die. In the movie, no. Hey! What are you doing in here? See, they heard her. Hey! <laughs> Just play Ring Around the Rosie. They'll never catch you. Ring Around the Rosie. Hold on a minute, hold on! Now, how did you get in here? Do you see what I see? <gasps> yes. Are you Dimitri? My name is Anya. I need travel papers. It Sir, moves what, what weird, too. Like? I'd like to go to Paris. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, oh, he likes me. Nice dog. Oh, this is going to sound crazy. I don't know my last name. I have very few memories of my past. I do have one clue, however, and that is Paris. Oddly enough, we're going to Paris ourselves. But I've, I've got three tickets here. Third one oh. is for her, Anastasia. You do kind of resemble her. Romanov eyes. Nicholas's smile. Alexandra's chin. Are you trying to tell me that you think that I am Anastasia. Oh, I think you are both mad. The third ticket is for the Grand Duchess Anastasia. Good luck. 
All she wants to do is go to Paris. Not to worry, I got it all under control. How the other guy moves, Vlad, reminds me of one of the characters in Five Will Goes West. Bow wow wow, woof woof. <laughs> Woof, woof, woof. Dimitri, wait! D did you call me? If I don't remember who I am, then who's to say I'm not a princess? If I'm not Anastasia, the Empress will certainly know right away, and it's all just an honest mistake. Either way, it gets you to Paris. Right. All the Romanovs are dead. They're dead. If dead things come back to life, Anastasia's alive. And that's her. Oh. Oh. Wait, so Rasputin is in that container thing, right? Right. Where the hell are we? Is this their version of Hades? Oh! Nice shooting, Rex. I tell you what, ow! Who dares intrude on my solitude? Our talk! Is that you? Ooh, those fingernails. So I saw her! Anastasia! Anastasia! <laughs> Stir your lips. Romanov. Brow. That's why whoa, I'm whoa. stuck here in limbo. I it's also giving page master energy. Yeah. Think, boy. What kind of an adventure would you have had if I brought you here with a turn of the page? I'm a wreck. Considering how long you've been dead, you look pretty good. Man, we were dark kids to watch this. Where did you get that? Give it to me. Now my dark purpose will be fulfilled. The last of the Romanovs die. In the dark of the night, I was tossing a turn. A song? It was time, though, right? It was the introduction of him, of his full character. A corpse falling to bits! This is dark as hell. This is his be prepared. I was once the most mystical man in all Russia. Little Anya, beware, Rasputin's away! What are these bugs? She'll be gone! She will feel that her nightmares are real. Eyes for your master. She'll be mine. You were definitely a dark child. Yes, I was a dark kid. Look at Pup Pup. Sit up straight. Excuse Remember your Grand Duchess. Dimitri, do you really think I'm royalty? You know I do. Then stop bossing me around. Exactly. <laughs> she certainly has a mind of her own. Yeah, I hate that woman. <laughs> Women. <laughs> you think you're gonna miss it? Miss what? You're talking? Russia. Nope. An unspoken attraction. To that skinny little brat, have you lost your mind? This month, the traveling papers were blue. Now they're red. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what I hate about this government. Everything's in red. Baggage car. Quickly. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's you. Well, that's okay then. Come on, we gotta go. Yes, this will do nicely. She'll freeze in here. She can thaw in Paris. There wouldn't be anything wrong with our papers now, would there, Maestro? Of course not, Your Grace. What was that? I don't know. Nobody's driving this train. Oh, did you say jump? <laughs> After you! You were saying? That could have been you. If we lived through this, remind me to thank you. This is our stop! Yeah! Oh my goodness, and there's people on that train! No, there were no people on that one. That one was just the engine and then the baggage car. So we're just watching him do play-by-play -play in his own version of hell of Anastasia's potential death. That's how it appears. How could I let her escape? I guess this relic where he's broken. And that gives him power over his minions. Yeah, he's Shang Tsung. Just whacker. Why do I have to make him so dark, too? 1997? Y'all not trying to be colorist? Are we gonna walk to Paris? We'll take a boat in Germany. Y'all traveling for a while? By foot? Across an entire damn continent? Who is Sophie? Tender little morsel. Flat. She is the Empress oh. of Ravishing Burst. 
cousin. I thought we were going to see the Empress herself, Dimitri. Nobody gets near the Dowager Empress without convincing Sophie first. Nobody ever told me I had to prove I was the Grand Duchess. You don't know it's a lie. What if it's true? Girl, you've had all that snow. This is the first green grass you've seen in how long? Yeah, where else you gonna go? What you gonna go back to? Tell me, child. What do you see? Skinny little nobody with no past and no future. See, that's a pretty moment with the rose in the water. I was a member of the Imperial Court. You better not tell nobody. There is nothing left for you back there. Everything is in Paris. I should have got a snack. I do have cheese. -its. Start your teaching. Thank you for reminding me. Born in a we just had a song. I'm gonna go while they sing. Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're gonna make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. You made faces and terrorized the cook. Imagine how it was. Your long forgotten past. We've lots and lots to teach you. They still sing. If I can learn to do it. So they're going through her Pygmalion moment, I guess, right now. <laughs> Mama, Papa, I'm coming home. I never cared for Stroganoff. She said that like a Romanov. If I can if learn to do it, it to you do can it. learn to do you it. Learn. Whose horses y'all on? Clearly with saddles. You stole somebody's horses. This feels like we're on borrowed time. The old Driscoll's found us. Suddenly I feel like someone new. A dream come true. I can learn to do you it. Do you it. can learn to do oh, it. Are we already in Paris? No, oh, they're taking a boat from Germany. How far to St. Petersburg to Germany? I bought you a dress. <laughs> what are you looking for? The Russian circus. I think it's still in here. Just put it on. How'd her hair get so long? Her hair was shoulder length. What are we talking about right now? There's a new pet. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Chia pet. The pottery that grows. You are dressed for a ball. One, two, three. One, two, three. She must have gone to the Chinese store and got and got some bundles. Let me give her some bundles. Okay. <laughs> Same because bundles that she's been having past weeks. It's one, two, three, and sudden. Another song? Okay. Should have kept count. She's radiant and confident. I never should have let them dance. I'm feeling a little dizzy. Kind of lightheaded. Me too. Anya, I. Yes. You're doing fine. Titanic looking ship. All right. Pretty jewelry box, isn't it? Jewelry box? Are you sure that's what it is? Something to do with a secret. <laughs> Sleep well, your majesty. Sweet dreams, Luca. Sound asleep in her little bed. I'll get inside your mind. You can't escape me. This is weird. Yeah. This is like Hexus sneaking in, letting Green Goo and It snack. sure is. Mmm. Delicious. <sighs> now she's sleepwalking. This is a smart ass dog. This is pretty twisted. Hypnotize that deep. <laughs> Puka. Puka what? Anya. 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 Where is the captain 
end of the ship. Where's the crew? Nobody on guard? Hello, sunshine. I'm jumping. <laughs> If you don't marry that man, Anya, 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 wake up! The Romanov curse. The Romanov, the Romanov. What? I keep seeing faces. So many faces. It's all right. You're safe now. <laughs> I'll have to kill her myself in person. But how can you go on Earth if you're dead? But you're dead! How do you expect to get to Paris in one piece? We take the train. Do you tell me this whole time he, he could have left? I remember something. We would take picnics by the shore on Sunday. No more. I must say, I'm so. Why the cat walk like that? We won't be fooled next time. So they escape St. Petersburg, flee to Paris, and still live in a castle. My heart can't take it anymore. I will see no more girls claiming to be Anastasia. Three days ago, I didn't have any past. I'm trying to remember an entire lifetime. That damn view! <laughs> that damn view! Oui, monsieur? <laughs> this is definitely Fox. Give us the love witch. Come in, everyone. May I present Her Imperial Highness Anastasia Nikolaevna. Certainly does look like Anastasia, but so did many of the others. <laughs> Indulge me. How did you escape the palace? There was a boy who worked in the palace. He opened a wall. That's crazy. Walls opening. Is she a Romanov? She answered every question. You didn't! Why is she high? Arrange a brief interview with the Dowager. Do you like the Russian ballet? Performing in Paris tonight. I love the Russian ballet. Why does she keep bouncing? All I wanna do is see you. We did it! Tonight, 10 million rubles! Ah, she is the princess. Ah. Sophie wants to take us shopping for the ballet! Chanel? A song? Oh la la! Let this be a fun one, please. Welcome, my friends, to party. Anastasia got some big feet. Daddy holds the key to your heart. This is Josephine Baker on the stage of the Folie Bergère at a moment of music hall history. Yes, princess, I found you at last. No more pretend you'll be gone. That's the end. She's the princess. I was the boy in the palace, the one who opened the wall. She's the real thing, Vlad. How you survive? And you will walk out of her life forever. Why are you mad? Princesses don't marry kitchen boys. You've got to tell her. Tell me what? Uh, how, how beautiful you look. She look, come on. Walk me up these steps. They know they're in the presence of royal tea. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Look, we've been through a lot together. And I just wanted to. Yes, Anya. I. Yes. Kiss her, you fool. I want to wish you good luck. I guess. Just like a man every time. Just like a man. Please inform Her Majesty that I have found her granddaughter, the Grand Duchess Anastasia. I have seen enough Grand Duchess Anastasias to last me a lifetime. Come to the door. Your Majesty. Yes, I see the no moment. More. My name is Dimitri. I used to work at the palace. I've seen it before. Men who train young women in the royal way. But if I don't care how much you have fashioned this girl to look like her. This time it is her. Dimitri, I've heard of you. Con man from St. Petersburg holding auditions to find an Anastasia lookalike. <gasps> how you. much pain will you inflict on an old woman for money? <gasps> Remove him at once. <laughs> It was all a lie, wasn't no, it? No, no. Oh, boy. You used me? I 
was just part of your con to get her money? Everything's different now. You really are Anastasia. You just leave me alone! Oh. Oh. Your Majesty. That's clever. Hey, boy! How dare you stop this car? This animation. You have to talk to her. Do you recognize this? Where did you get this? Why did you show her that? Oh, yeah. She's been as lost and alone as you. Go away, Dimitri. I know very well who you thought I was. Who exactly are you? I don't want to trick you. I just want to know who I am. I've had enough. Peppermint? An oil for my hands. I spilled the bottle, and it forever smelled of peppermint. Like you. Oh, how I missed you when you went away. When you came here, to Paris. What is that? I've always had it ever since before I can remember. Was our secret my Anastasia's and mine? The music box. To sing me to sleep when you were in Paris. Remember. You can't fake that. You cannot fake that. You all into it. My Anastasia. <sighs> Saved your life for a second time. We're going to a party! A party in Paris? I could teach you the latest dance step. Get really crazy with the hips, sir. It's fun! You kill her! Crush her! At the height of her glory! Please forget the girl and get a life! Ah! I'll get a life, Bartok. Paris! I remember now how much I love them. You have the beauty of your mother, Alexandra. You sent for me, Your Grace? Ten million rubles, as promised. I don't want the money. What do you want, then? Nothing you can give. Where did you get that music box? The servant boy who got us out. You saved her life and mine. Why the change of mind? More a change of heart. Hello, Dimitri. Hello. Did you collect your reward? My business is complete. <laughs> Goodbye, Your Highness. Goodbye. If you're ever in St. Petersburg again, look me up. So long, Vlad. What has he become? You're making a mistake. I can't stay. I don't belong here. A remarkable young man who found a music box. He's probably too busy spending his reward money as fast as he can. This is what you really want. I found what I was looking for. I found you. You'll always have me. He didn't take the money. He didn't? Whatever you choose, we will always have each other. That tiara is not glamorous. I mean, it's very showy. Puka? Puka. Puka? Oh no, don't go in that garden maze. No, no, no. Puka. Here, boy. There you are. Hot as day. What does she trip on? My bad, my bad, fuck tripping on you. Tripping on you. Anastasia, your imperial heights. Remember. Rasputin. Rasputin. <laughs> I knew it. It tells me everything. This is classic Mrs. Side Tooth behavior, right here. What goes around comes around, around, around. You're on your own, sir. This can only end in tears. I'm not afraid of you. I can fix that. Say your prayers, Anastasia. No one can save you. Want to bet? Why did you come back? What made you come back? Remind me to thank Take you. Take me later. Together again. For the last time. Dimitri! Das Vidanya, your highness. Hold on! <laughs> no! That was a really weak one. All right! <laughs> 
What? Okay. All right. I can't. What? Give it back. This is for my family. That's be done, yeah. Yeah, that's some hexes shit. All that. Dear Grandmama, wish me luck. <sighs> a biento. They will It's a perfect ending. It's a perfect beginning. But she just got reunited with her grandma after 10 years. I know you love this man. You couldn't talk to him tomorrow? Okay. This all could have been avoided what? if he would have just been happy in the beginning. <laughs> so long, everybody. <laughs> what? Yeah. Let's give it a freckle score. Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give <laughs> Anastasia sorry. its official sorry. freckle Hold score. On. If I would have wrote this in middle school creative writing, and this was my story, I feel like I would have gotten so many dings on just random story shit. I'm actually shocked that this is the final product of the movie and that it got so many accolades in terms of an animated film when it came out. Like I'm just, I'm really, really confused. I wanted it to be better than The Little Mermaid, but there were just so many plot inconsistencies and just weird parts of the story. This is not historically accurate. Who killed the Romanovs in real life were the revolutionaries during the Russian Revolution. They were trying to create the socialist communist government and that's how you had Lenin and all of his people and it blew bitty blah bitty blah and all that crazy that's going on. I never understood why Rasputin was the bad guy. Rasputin was a weird ass man. Yeah, he couldn't die. They shot him. They tried to they tried to drown him. Man couldn't die. The bat was irrelevant. The bat was unnecessary. I actually think the story would have been stronger if we just tried to figure out who Anastasia was the whole time. That would have been a stronger story, in my opinion. I saw the most character growth within Dimitri and Dimitri's not the main, main character. I should have seen more with Anastasia. She was just going along with it like, like, if you're an orphan, I hear you yawning, Allie. Stop yawning. It's not intentional. I'm like, what do you want me to do? Like, my natural body, what, I can't hold it in. <sighs> Two and a half freckles. Don Bluth has a losing track record here at Two Freckle Friends. This is my first time watching Anastasia. It being in 1997, you would have thought that 20th Century Fox learned from Disney. And you can tell from a few scenes, they cherry pick some stuff, i.e. the opening number was giving very Beauty and the Beast energy of bonjour, bonjour, you know, with Belle. And I even respect the risk that they took with some of the textual elements with the animation. They mixed it up. I think present day though, it didn't pay off. For some reason, Fox can do live action. When it comes to animation, this is just not Fox's forte in my opinion. A lot of A-list heavy hitters doing the voice acting. Again, another Fox theme where it's like, it's not enough. That like you have to invest in every aspect and every aspect has to be a grand slam. It's a Brooke special and we gotta give it a Brooke special score. I'm gonna have to agree with Brooke, 2.5. <laughs> Two and a half out of five freckles. Thank you so much for tuning in to this latest episode of Two Freckle Friends. Drop in the comments what you think of Anastasia, if you agree or disagree with our scores. And while you hit up those comments, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckle Friends. This should have been a tour guide to Russia. Fox should have collaborated with Russia to be like, listen, we want to make this as big and as bright. Brightness. Uh.
possible to make people want to travel to Russia. If anything, it just confirms that Russia is a shithole. Uh, yeah, I don't think they would have collaborated on that. Well, it's been 14 years in the making, and today, finally, McDonald's threw open the doors to its first restaurant in Moscow. And make no mistake, this was an event of major gastronomic proportions. Our Moscow correspondent, Don Murray, savored the cultural revolution that surrounds the Big Mac's arrival in Moscow. 